Hi, this is Mimi Live. It's Thursday. I'm in my kitchen again and I have a nice little surprise today. You notice I'm wearing stripes. My mother told me never to wear stripes in this direction. It makes you look fat, so I, I hope I'm not fat. I always like these striped shirts because they remind me of the gondola guys in, um, in uh, Venice, Italy. But here we are. So I, today we're going to make this wonderful key lime. Now these aren't key limes. Key limes are those teeny weeny limes and actually those are the original limes that were used for margaritas and still are when they really make it but these limes are all I could find today. The other ones are a little sweeter but these are awfully good. Um, if you get a lime that's really hard you should just kind of roll it on the board to soften it. Okay so it, then it softens it up a little bit it makes it juicy. Alright so we have three things today. One is we're going to have um, key lime pudding after I show you how to make this, you just put this in the refrigerator. The second one is a little um, little cake kind of thing. I'm going to try to undo this here and see how it, the bottom comes off easily. Here we go. There we go. Beautiful. Sorry to get out of the camera. Look at this thing. Okay, so now that's the second thing you can make is a little key lime tart. And the third thing here, which I really love, you're not going to believe this, this is an ice cream. You don't even need the ice cream maker for it. It's quite delicious. This is such a wonderful little thing here. Okay, so there you've got the ice cream. And then what you can do on top of this is just do a little zest. I think the zest went all over the counter. But anyway, that's the zest. Okay, so this is a three... Three, um, a three-time dessert that you can do. So now I'm going to tell you what you use in it. It's actually very easy. There's six ingredients. You've got the limes, delicious limes, and you're going to use about five of them or six of them. You want to make about three quarters of a cup. If you like it a little more tart, you can do a little bit more than three quarters. A cup is good. Um, I don't know if you know what lecithin is, but it's an emulsifier. It's a little kind of I don't know what to even call it. It's a funny little thing, but in this form where you buy, don't buy soy lecithin because I don't use any soy products. So just find a, a vegetable lecithin. And then I use my little spice grinder here. And I grind two tablespoons up into a powder. And it just helps emulsify everything. But you want to grind it up. It's, it doesn't seem to dissolve because it doesn't get cooked. So about two tablespoons of that. Then I made a little almond, uh, an almond milk cream. And this is made by putting some of the Thai, uh, young Thai coconut in my blender with a little water. You're just going to use like a quarter of a cup in this recipe. Um, you can use, um, if you don't have it, you can buy almond milk, but it's not the same. When you put the almond meat in and grind it up, it makes it really thick and rich. So that's the best way to do this. You can probably do it with a regular coconut, but the Thai baby coconut is the best. But just put this in your blender with a little water you know, less than a half a cup of water and just ma make it really nice and thick. It's actually really delicious to drink. So that's one quarter of a cup. Um, you're going to use a little of this um, a coconut oil and coconut butter. And I like to use about a half a cup mixed. If you don't have one or the other, you can use the full half a cup. But I kind of like them mixed together. And then you're going to put this in a, a double boiler a little glass bowl on top of a pan with water and you're just going to melt it down. You want this melted. This is a half a cup of this. Okay. Just a little dash of the salt. I didn't even include this as an ingredient, but this is just a little bit of this pink Himalayan salt. I'm almost down in my grinder. Just a couple grinds is good. And then you want some sweetener. And here's my choices of sweetener. You have agave, you have coconut nectar. It's all up to you. Everybody has their own choice of sweetener, so I never tell anybody. We have palm sugar, which is delicious, and we have stevia. So you're going to use about um, a half a cup of sweetener, whatever kind you use. I don't really know what the stevia, because I... I, ha I didn't measure this. I didn't use the stevia. I used this. So I used a half a cup of the liquid. But just put a little in and then taste it. You're going to put everything in the blender, by the way. And then the last ingredients, and please don't tell anybody this before they eat it. The last ingredient is avocado. It's only for the fat and the texture. It really doesn't have a taste. So when you put it in with the sweets and everything else, it is so delicious. In fact, this is the first uh, thing I brought. I made a, a little pie 
and it's the first thing I brought to a friend's house for uh, dinner one night for dessert and everybody ate it and thought it was delicious and then when I told them there's an avocado in it they just couldn't believe it but those people are now turned on to eating lots of raw food this is a really good thing to turn people on to okay this was two avocados and what I got was a small tart um, a four inch tart and then these two things so this is what you get out of two avocados this is the recipe I'm giving you so you can make a small pie you know a small pie now the crust is the last thing I have to tell you okay they all taste a little different when they're um, done this way once you make this crust uh, and the pie you can stick it in the freezer if you need to eat it right away and it'll firm it up quickly the thing about the uh, avocado and the coconut oil it stays really creamy okay this is what I use for the base of this thing I used about a, a half a cup of nuts or a full cup of nuts probably in this that's what you want to do for a big pie and maybe five or six of uh, these big medjool dates these are the really nice big ones so you're going to grind it up in your food processor pulsing it and you're going to drop the pitted dates in one at a time and then stop the pul stop pulsing when it's ground up and pinch it really tight if it sticks together it's ready to go that's how this that's how this works if it sticks together then you know you can press it into your pie tin and that's really about it let me see what else I have in here no that's it can you believe can you oh wait I'm going to show you one more thing I was looking for this here is the crust this is what I have left from just making this little bit look at that see how that sticks together it's kind of the dates sticking together if you do that that makes a beautiful crust by the way you can do this with all kinds of uh, use the same crust on many of your desserts and I'm going to just do a little of this on top of here and then we're finished and um, this is what Mike and I will have for dessert tonight you can put a slice of a little lime on here or you can just do the zest and then here we go okay that's all there is to this thing you might have to watch this again to remember everything but I gave you all the ingredients and this is really fun and um, a lot of I just wanted to tell you a lot of the equipment I use like the zester the microplane zester and my Cuisinart and all my things are on my website www uh, dot young on raw food no s at the end young, young on raw food dot com and I have a shop in there I don't really sell it myself but I have a shop that you can go in and see all my products and uh, and then you can purchase them right there but they're they're Amazon they're actually uh, items from Amazon and I just did that I put this up so you can see the kind of things I use you know what kind of coconut butter I use and I keep adding to it every time I use new ingredients I keep adding so you can see where I get my products and they ship very fast so if you need things uh, quickly they can do it and that's it that is all that's in here and um, I can't wait to take a bite of it thank you for coming and I'll see you next Thursday you know I love you. Bye.